Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Justice for All, everybody. And we're continuing with the Turnabout Big Top Part 2 Trial. Or, first day trial, but the second part of the first day's trial. We are still cross-examining Mo, and I think I speak for everybody when I say he's probably one of the best witnesses we'll ever have on the stand. Okay. <laughs> All right, he's going to testify about the, about the silhouette, and he expects the truth. And if I catch even a hint of a joke from you, I will put you in a holding cell until you learn court etiquette. Got it? Got it. Ah <laughs> oh, man. Poor Mo. <sighs> okay, to be fair, he is behaving completely inappropriately for the yeah, courtroom. Yeah, but it's, it's funny. All right, the silhouette. It was a bit far away, but that shadow could only have belonged to Max! There's no doubting it, especially since I saw his uppity symbols. His silk hat, that black cloak, they were all there! His face was silhouetted, but there was no doubt that it was him. His cloak was fluttering in the wind, so I couldn't really see what he was carrying. Hmm. Hmm. It does seem as if the defendant was at the scene of the crime. You took your time realizing that, didn't you? Whatever. That should be enough, right? It is decisive testimony. Was Max really at the crime scene that night? He said he wasn't there. We have to keep believing that. All right, Mr. Wright. Commence your cross-examination. Now, for this one, I don't think we will get penalized just by pressing random statements. Okay. Unless I'm mistaken. It was a bit far away, but that shadow could only belong to Max, and I just realized... I forgot to turn down the volume from when we were watching that video earlier. Oh, so it's gonna be really loud. But, no, it, it was only a few things higher, so it wasn't that bad. Okay. Don't you think that you are going a little overboard with how explicit you're being? That shadow belonged to Max is an awfully firm statement, don't you think? <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. Keep going. That was like twice as loud as any other sneeze you've done today. How do you even sneeze that? Never mind. I don't know. What are you getting at? Maya has a cold. I'm just saying that one of your fellow performers' life is online here. Are you truly 100% absolutely certain that it was Max? I'm not the kind of person who would lie about something as serious as this. Sure. The silhouette I saw was Max. I'm convinced of that. Doesn't seem like he's jumping to any conclusions this time. Let's go over this again, then. What makes you so sure you saw Max that night? There's no doubting it, especially since I saw his uppity symbols. Trilo said the same thing. But if it was just the symbols, then even I could have been wearing them. What if someone had just taken Max's symbols and worn them? I thought of that myself. But just looking at the shape of the face I saw, it must have been Max. Hmm, you're sure of that? Such a silly little boy. He threw his entire case headlong into a trap. His silk hat, that black cloak, they were all there! What about the roses? I didn't mention those. You're sure that is what you saw that night? Exactly what I said I saw is exactly what I saw! I've got eyes like a hawk! Um, don't birds have terrible night vision? But that's not all I saw! His face was silhouetted, but there was no doubt that it was him! You were able to see that kind of detail from your window? Objection! There was a light near the scene of the crime. Anyone with decent eyesight should have been able to see that much. Out of curiosity, Mo, what is your eyesight like? I can see like a hawk out of my left eye, and an eagle out of my right eye! Our records say his eyesight is a perfect 2020. That must mean he could have seen the crime scene clearly. Lucky you, Mo. Hmm. The more we look into this matter, the more suspicious it becomes. Hey! You asked me what my eyesight was like, not what it actually was! <laughs> his cloak was fluttering in the wind, so I couldn't really see what he was carrying. Okay. But he was carrying something. Well, he had to hit the guy over the head with something. Yeah. So you didn't actually see what the criminal was holding? That's correct! I've been curious to know what caused that loud noise. It must have been something incredibly hard. Too bad they haven't found the murder weapon to know for sure. They claim it was a blunt object. 
At least it says so in the autopsy report. With Trilo's testimony and now Moe's, it really seems like Max is the killer. Nick, you gotta find a contradiction in this! That's not going to be enough. What? I have to prove that Moe saw someone other than Max that night. That's the only thing that will help. I've got to do it. Alright, so that's his testimony. Um... Can I look at the people's faces? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. Okay, can't, it can't be four of these people. So... Actually, it can't be five of these people. His face is very thin, okay. Yeah. Regina's is also very thin. Hers is, rounder. Rounder Hers is rounder. is rounder and not as um, right. tall. Mr. Pringle's man is very round, and so is Mo. It could be Ben. It but... could be. That's true. I don't know. Actually, it could have been because nobody can really corroborate that Ben that actually ben was, was waiting there waiting the whole there. time. Right. Especially also, since do you have do you have any idea what the murder weapon might be? What the murder weapon might be. I ask because on his per on Link's first playthrough, he's like, I'm pretty sure that the murder weapon is was Trilo. <laughs> that would have been hysterical, but he would have been broken, I'm guessing, in some way, if that were the case. Um. Well, maybe Geppetto fixed him. Um. I. It depends on who the murderer is. If it's Mo. It could be, like, any of the A objects bottle of in his seltzer. Room. No, you know how it's like, Wow, Mo, all of your equipment's broken. He's like, well, gosh, golly, time to... <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it could have been, like, pogo he, stick. He, he broke some, like, it over the guy's head, and he's like, I better break all my other stuff so it doesn't look suspicious. Right, that's what I'm saying. He could have done interesting. that. Interesting. Um, Regina, what did she have? She had that staff. She had that, like, star the staff thing. Yeah, the star The star staff. scepter, because I really liked that. And it could have been that. Um, Doesn't Cardcaptor Sakura have like a star That's what I would immediately <laughs> notice. I was like, oh my gosh! It looks exactly like it, so that's cool. Um, <laughs> his hat is His hysterical. hat has a carrot. And it's making the same face right. that he is. Um, also, Mo has all these books that he could have thrown over at him. But let me, let me see what's in our evidence that could be like, oh... I mean, it can't... Alright, attorney's okay. badge, yep. Magatama, no. crime no. photo, silk hat... No. The Ringmaster's papers. Nope. Looking at objects. The promo there. poster. No one can kill someone with a poster. The broken bottle. That was earlier in the day. Circus nope. map. Money the monkey. Throat death by monkeys! monkeys. <laughs> that would've been funny. The ring. The ring's too and small. And then the autopsy, autopsy report. report. Oh, and the wooden box. It could be that they hit him over the head with the wooden box. But he was slumped over it when he was dead. Are you saying they put it under him? Because that would've left imprints in the snow. And then the pepper bottle. Pepper bottle, yeah. It, it, pepper makes people sneeze. Yep. Well, maybe stereotypically. Maybe they the person who was killed, Russell Berry, had such a crazy sneeze. He's kind of a big guy, so maybe he had such a crazy sneeze. They put the pepper on him, and he was like, oh, and like he hit himself so hard. No, that that's <laughs> really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's Phoenix Wright, and it's a magical circus case. Anything can happen. Fair enough. I don't know what statement to press on. It's this one. Oh, you, is it because of the roses? Yeah, you mentioned it before. Okay. He has I didn't know if we were. Yeah. You say you saw all of Max's uppity symbols? Uppity symbols. I suppose so! The silk hat and the cloak, right? Mo, everyone knows that Maximilian Galactica has three uppity symbols. Three symbols? Yay! Everyone get ready! All together, now! Silk hat! Cloak! White roses! What the- Who cares if he knew that there were three or not? He saw what he saw, and he saw the symbols. He just forgot to mention one. Isn't that right, Mo? Do you like pie? I love pie! Three point one four one five nine two just five three nine nine nine! Tasty! Silence, fool! <laughs> you are res to respond with the whole truth, no fractions. Oh, good pun. Yeah, there's no way anyone would be able to say all of that. No. <laughs> That's fine, though. Or, you knew order! Than I would have. Mo, you didn't see the roses, did you? To be honest, 
There wasn't any roses on the person I saw. The crime scene was dark. It's obvious it was too dark to see that kind of detail. But the witness said he was able to see the silhouette of the criminal's face. Not to mention that the roses are white. There's no way he could have missed them. Then the roses must have fallen off when the defendant assaulted the victim. If that was the case, then the police would have found them at near the crime scene. Also Mr. it's white snow. Mr. Wright, are these white roses truly material to the facts of this case? Clearly not! He's just toying with this court! I got her on the ropes now. Whenever there's a nugget of truth, it always seems to peek out at me, then run away. Someone is toying with the court, but it's not me! Your Honor, do you recall Trilo's testimony? There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols! How can you mistake someone with that crazy gap and his nose stuck up so high? How can you mistake someone wearing such a snobby three-piece getup? Trilo saw them all! He Trilo saw all three of Max's symbols. However, this witness claims that there were no white roses on the person he saw. One of them's lying. There's absolutely no doubt that this is a contradiction. Hmm, now what am I supposed to think? One is supposed to disregard the pointless, but this... Judge! Forget the roses! Think about his other testimony! The witnesses stated without a doubt that he saw Maximilian Galactica. Nothing else matters. Let's wrap this case up now. Your Honor, it may be trivial, but there should still be doubt lingering in your mind. Frankly, I have my doubts about this witness. It seems that, unlike wine, this witness has not grown more mature with age. I'm not... mature. I've come to a conclusion. I'm 99% certain that this witness saw the defendant. However, my remaining 1% of doubt is quite reasonable. Which means that for my peace of mind, I'm going to request a bit more testimony. But what If there are no contradictions in his next statement, I am prepared to issue a ruling. A ruling? Nick! This is your last chance! There's a lot of last chances for Mr. Phoenix Wright. The Silhouette Part 2. There's no doubt in my mind! There were no white roses that night! However, all of the other symbols were there. I'm equally sure of that. Especially the silk hat. There's no way I could forget seeing the decorations on it. He was wearing it the entire time he was on the scene. But... I'm... Huh? But we have it in our possession. Good point. Mr. Wright, you've got one last chance at this. Just one chance? I will not allow even the slightest hint of badgering against this witness. So we gotta just get the one statement. If you're going to prove to me that there's a contradiction with Mr. Curl's test statement, you'd better have at least a shred of evidence to back up your accusations. I've only got a single shot at this. I've gotta be careful. I understand, Your Honor. One chance is all I will need. So for this statement, actually, if we press any of his statements, then we get a penalty. Mm. We literally just need to present evidence contradicting this. Okay. So, but just to demonstrate. Mo, be honest. Ow! You promised, Mr. Phoenix Wright, no more badgering. I hope you enjoy this penalty. That was half our bar. Oh my gosh. Ugh, I'm finished. Um, excuse me, I'm the one handing out the pen- Oh! Witness, continue with your testimony. You're not going to whip me too, are you? Maybe after court, if you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but isn't it kind of pointless if you only whip me after court? Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Me too. Okay. All the other three symbols were- Or all the other symbols were there. Yep. The Special. silk hat. No way I could forget seeing the decorations. He was wearing, wearing it the, the entire, entire time. time. That has to be what we press on. Okay. It's not pressing, it's literally just presenting. presenting. So you, you pointed that out already. We have the silk hat. Yeah, we hat. have the silk hat, so... This wouldn't happen to be the silk hat you saw that night, would it? Yep, that's it! That's the hat he was wearing that night! No question in your mind? Exactly how would one mistake a thing like that? I see. Is there some sort of problem, Mr. Wright? Miss Von Karma? Where exactly was the silk hat found? Must you always ask these questions? It was found at the crime scene. The, the cr crime scene? That means... 
The silk hat fell off at the crime scene. However, the witness clearly testified to the contrary. The witness stated that he was wearing it the entire time he was on that scene. No! That's not true! Order! 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 Mr. Curls! Y yes Your Honor? WHAT IS THE MEANING OF ALL THIS?! You are old enough to know better than to behave like this in court! Hey! That's not- that's just not right! That's so harsh! What's not right here is your eyesight and your memory amongst other things. Wh WHY ARE YOU BEING SO MEAN TO ME?! WHAT DID I DO?! Let me guess, you just didn't like my jokes or something, right? You didn't have to go and insult my eyesight or my memory! They're both great! Seriously, why? Just because your city and bumpy doesn't mean you belong there, and no matter how old they get, I'll always be younger than you! Yeah! Enough of these childish outbursts, Mr. Curls! Who do you think you are? I saw him! I swear I saw him! It was Max! Even if I didn't have his roses, he was still wearing his dumb silk hat! I'm telling the truth! He's turned into a bratty little kid. It's pitiful, isn't it? He left the scene wearing that dumb silk hat! He was there! He left the scene? What's the matter, Nick? There's something I've been mulling over for a while now. Mo? What do you want? You just said that he left the scene. Exactly how did the murderer leave the scene of the crime? What? He, um, he went... What do you mean, how did he leave the scene? You can't ask me that. He just left. Mr. Phoenix Wright is badgering the witness, Your Honor. This witness's testimony is so full of holes, Miss Von Karma's protest is useless. Gah. You've got a point. Let's hear what the witness has to say on this matter. Is that alright with you, little guy? Don't talk to me like I'm a little baby! Besides, what kind of stupid question is how did he leave the crime scene? The answer's obvious. He just turned around and walked away. That's what I expected you'd say. You're sure that's how it happened? <laughs> huh? I'm not sure I know exactly what you're going with this. I don't either. Lawyers nowadays sure do love to harp on the smallest things. Hey, it's all we got. Do you have any proof to counter his story as to how the criminal left the scene? Oh, look at all them pictures. All damn pictures. We could take a look. He's gone. Well, okay, in the first place, there's only one set of footprints. Right, we even pointed this out early in the investigation. Okay. It's my attorney's badge. How about this? This isn't your idea of a joke, is it, Mr. Wright? Not very amusing, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You're not going to get paid for that one! It doesn't look like it worked. I <laughs> love it turned on the happy music. What I happened? Like music. It's like I turned into Mo or something. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me, but I don't understand what you're getting at. Alright. Yeah, only one set of footprints. Look at this picture. The problem is the footprints in the snow. Footprints? In this photo, we can clearly see the footprints of the victim. However, where are the criminal's footprints? They aren't there. Die, 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 die! So, Mo, exactly how did the criminal escape the scene? Um, he, uh... Your Honor, this witness has already proven that his testimony is completely unreliable. I move to strike all of this witness's testimony from the court record. But what if it's something that's good and we need it later? I agree. Yeah, that'll be bad. This clown's testimony is as rickety as the clown car he came to court in. Wait just a second! You guys can't just ignore everything I've said! Fine, fine! I'll tell you the truth this time! You wait a second! I think you've said more than enough for today. That didn't hurt! I'm sick and tired of listening to you anyways! I'll give you the real deal this time, I swear! I don't know why, but I get the feeling things are gonna get worse than they did before they get better. Mr. Lawrence Curls? Yes? This testimony you've provided up until now has been false? It hasn't been false! I haven't lied! It's just... It's just what? It's just I was a bit confused on the bit about the criminal leaving the scene. Especially since Von Karman or Whip told me not to talk about what I really saw. <laughs> of course she did. Uh -huh. Order! Order! I will have order! Franziska Von Karma, how could you? 
Your Honor, if you had heard the truth from this witness, you have exactly the same opinion as I have. What opinion is that? It's not funny. That's enough out of you. I'm going to listen to what he has to say. Now then, let's hear the truth about what you say you saw. He's just gonna crack it. Ha! You're not gonna believe this, but it's all true, I tell you! Try not to waste our time with your idiotic drivel. This is easily probably top three testimonies of all in the series for the me. The truth. I, witness, I just hope it's crazy. And the amazing. witness testimony, the truth. <laughs> Now it's time for our next segment, Monos! Okay. Everything that I've said up until now has been the truth. Alright. When I looked out the window, the ringmaster was down and Max was standing above him. He wasn't wearing his white roses, but he was wearing he was the silk crying. hat. <laughs> That's what I saw. He? I was about to say, he was flying, so... This is the truth now! Get ready for it! He flew! He jumped up and flew through the air! He flew right off and disappeared into the darkness! That's why there were no footprints! Flying people don't leave footprints! See, I totally called that. I told you it wasn't funny. Do you believe me now? Well... That was, um, how do you put this into words? Maximilian Galactica is a world-class magician. But to leave the scene of the crime by flying, there's no way that actually happens. You, you're right. Why is she right? You believe the other witnesses! Why won't you believe me? Especially since it's the best part of the story! Hmm. I'm trying to think of how, if it's not Max... How the person must have flown then? <laughs> yeah. Because I'm trying to think of like what might um, work. <laughs> the double there's, mad jetpack. Yeah, I was about to say there's there's option of jetpack. <laughs> there's option of like someone doing puppet strings type of deal. So it's like ooh, someone ooh, actually ooh, put fine. a TV screen in front of Moe's window and he didn't notice. <laughs> no, sure. Um, there's also an option that other people could fly. I don't know. Maybe like okay. I know this because I've done theater and circus-related stuff. Let's say Maximilian Galactica's sick. You can't just do the show without him, so you need to have an understudy or a swing or something to have in position for when he has to fly. Hmm. Be it he's doing it for real or that he has wires. So, it could be that said swing person's like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I don't know, it could be that. Could be Acro. Still haven't <laughs> met anything of him. <laughs> he definitely can fly. He's a superhero. He's an acrobat. Acrobat. I, if if we know anything about acrobats, like Ty Lee, Ty Lee can fly. Ty Lee literally can, can fly, fly. Which is so. <laughs> she's a little more than an acrobat, though. Hmm. She's a cheap. To be honest, this is the first time I've heard of a flying criminal. What do you think about this witness's testimony, Mr. Wright? His eyes are playing tricks. He's telling the truth. This is all a dream, right? <laughs> He's telling the truth. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll do all of them. It's obvious that the witness's eyes are playing tricks on him. Don't be such a fool! Who in the world do you think I would mistake that jerk for? Jeez, I didn't say you were lying. Wow, he looks really serious right now. More serious than he's looked all day. <laughs> he's telling the truth. What he just said was so strange, I don't think he would have made it up. Which means that he is telling the truth? That's what I think. Nick, wait! That means that Max actually used magic! Yikes! You're right. Now! Only a foolish-looking fool could be fooled by such foolishly foolish dreams. Don't be ridiculous. Magic does not exist. <laughs> this is all a dream, right? Right now, I can't believe any of this. I'm not even sure if this day hasn't been just some kind of Kafka-esque dream. Now! Now do you think it's still a dream? Huh, Mr. Phoenix, right? <laughs> I suppose I will let you all in on my thinking regarding this matter. The criminal disappeared into the sky. I'd love to believe that, but I just can't wrap my head around how that could actually happen. You imbecile! If you disregard a need for proof, Miss Von Karma's case is sound. However... I've got the feeling that this case is in dire need of more investigation. Yes, it is. 
Let's investigate more. Thus, I will conclude today's proceedings at this point. It's an undisputed fact that the criminal left no footprints at the scene. Tomorrow, I want us to find out the reason behind this mystery of mysteries. Um, uh... <sighs> I believe that's enough for today. Court is now in recess. I forgot that the second part of the trial is not that long. Well, Oops, you're, well, you're getting a slightly shorter episode today to make up for the mall episode we had last time. Mm -hmm. December 29th, 2.33 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby number 5. Hey, sweeties, what in the world is going on? That's what I want to know. They say the criminal flew off into the air and disappeared. Max, I can't believe I'm asking this, but you didn't fly that night, did you? I know you didn't mean to ask me such a fabulously stupid question. I can't fly whenever I please. It's not that easy. But it looks so effortless for you on stage. Everything looks it's effortless on stage. It's not that simple. Stage. I'm not actually flying on stage. I use invisible wires and have them hoist me through the air. Exactly. Wow. You just told me the secret to your magic. No! I broke the first rule. The cardinal rule. The only rule. I'm sorry, Max. I'm sorry you had to break a magician's creed to keep the magic trick secret. Nick, what do we do now? All we can do now is hope we find the flying criminal in court tomorrow. Great idea! Let's do our best and catch this sucker! And so it will be to be continued until next time, apparently. Well, the nice thing is, for the rest of the case, my voice will not be heard, because we will be talking to Trilo and Mo some more, but they at least probably are not going to show up in court again. Okay. <laughs> Unless if we're like, well, one of them did it. Right. I don't know. Anyhow, that's it for today, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Tune in next time. We'll be doing some more investigating. And, uh... <laughs> stuff's gonna get real, I think, in this investigation. Okay. So, until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.